Kurumi Tokisaki destroyed my life from 414 anime. Let's get some data live content back on this channel. I think it's finally time to talk about it. Okay. Kurumi Tokisaki, the woman that totally ruined my life. What did he just say? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Listen carefully. Talk about it. Yeah? Kurumi Tokasaki. Kurumi Tokasaki. Even the subtitles are called Tokasaki. When it's Tokisaki. And this is a Kurumi simp. Kurumi stands, where are you? Yeah, you should be fucking raging in the comments right now. How dare you fucking, you know, how dare you pronounce this? her name last, her name wrong. Okay. The woman that totally ruined my life. God damn, I love this 2D woman so much. I think that's origami for me. I think origami fucking ruined me. Okay, that wedding, that, that OVA, that wedding scene, where was it? That wedding scene was actually, that OVA was actually so good. I, I actually enjoyed that a lot. And they, but they killed her and then she went to the fucking, you know, the, the, the Kurumi spinoff series by herself. What do you guys like more? Do you guys like, okay, there's like two types of Kurumis, right? Cause there's like this bang Kurumi, right? This is like the, the younger Kurumi, the, that, the one that's like more flirting with like Shido and actually went on the launch rate date. And I think also is in, you know, the, um, the Kurumi spinoff series, right? Data Bullet. But then there's the, obviously there's this Kurumi stage. What do you guys like better? Twin tail Kurumi like this with the bangs up? Or this one? I don't know. I feel like sometimes I like this one more because we often see Kurumi in this form a lot, right? I, I, I don't know. I feel I, we always see her like this. So having the bangs down, covering her eye mode, I think it spices it up. I, I think I like this one a little bit more just because it's, it's like rarer, you know? Then again, there's a third Kurumi actually. Kurumi from five years ago. Remember that Kurumi? The design is much more different, right? Maybe, oh, maybe we'll get that one later too. Surprised he didn't really show us the five years ago Kunami over here. Hold up, one more time. Maybe I saw it then, maybe I didn't. So I fell into the biggest trap. You know, ensnared yeah. by those beautiful eyes, alluring smile, elegant pigtails, thick thighs, the gothic little Cameraman, where are you? Where are you at? Cam look at the cheeks right here. Then again, you I was gonna compare it to Hakari, but you can't really compare anyone to Hakari like that, right? But the upper mole will be right over here for Hakari. The gothic Lolita queen well and truly stole my heart, my money, and basically my entire- So I hear the fi- Oh my goodness, I actually use this for my thumbnail ones. But I hear Kunumi figurines are super expensive. I don't know how much they go for, but on average, like compared to most other anime figurines, like Kunumi figurines are very expensive. Uh, existence. You'd think I'd feel shame, right? A deep no. shame about no shame. my love for this woman. And that's him? That's straight up him? Yeah? That's what he looks like? That, that, that's him right there? Natural th I, I'm just gonna assume it is him, right? I, I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna sub to him right now. I need this pillow, bro. <laughs> Give me the hookups, bro. Oh my god! How, mu how much do you think this pillow is, huh? How much do you think this pillow is? Can anyone give me a ballpark estimate? And this is not the only Kurumi merch in this room. Look at this. He's got multiple pillows here, actually. He has another one right here. Look at this one. And then a Kurumi picture here too. Holy shit. I can't even imagine how much money he's dropped on Kurumi stuff. I won't lie. I have had one too many encounters when yeah. family, friends, or random people doing work at my house. People. How, how do you even explain that? Like family, friends come over and you're like, yeah, I make money by talking about anime girls. And this is the anime girl, Kurumi. She's in the pillow. Don't worry about it. Inside my overly obsessive, borderline mentally ill addiction to my waifu in the form of my room, which is basically open the That's all his Kurumi stuff. So he's got couple other pillows, but these are like, this is not like a, a body pillow, right? So he's got one main body. No, he has the other one. No, no, she just showed us another picture. This is a different body pillow. But look at all these different Kurumi stuff, man. Holy shit. The door and boom. Oh, it's not even. He even has the astral dress. Wow. <laughs> Could you imagine if I cosplayed as Kurumi? Maybe, maybe when Data Life Season 5 comes back and there's like a special celebration. But, holy shit, there's so much Kurumi stuff here, dude. Oh my, I can, the, the biggest one is this one. What the fuck? He has the actual dress, the astral dress, dude. It with Kurumi Tokusaki straight to the retina.
Still saying Tokasaki. I love it, man. Truly, truly love it. And, you know, to be fair, it is largely accepted by them. You know, He's doing my thing, you know, in the data life thumbnails. I just insert my face on Shido. <laughs> I'm very lucky in that regard. I think it's just a topic we leave unspoken, you know? Like, no, let's talk about it. Thing. Put it on. I want him to put on the fucking astral dress. Show me it right now. But we don't ever talk about it. it. It's brilliant. It's like a name that is sort of a do not go there territory. In fact, my mother is a really funny example. Okay. Of this. So what did like, she say? I've obviously got a lot of Kurumi merch and a Porsche. Do you, know, do you guys know what hot glue is? Do you, do you obviously got a lot of Kermie, man. When you see figurines like this and you hear the word hot glue, does something ring? Do you, do you make a connection in your head? A portion of it is, of course, you know, more of the questionable slash... Could me boxers as well? Okay, nice. Not safe for work. Could me just more fan art and like more material Excited. care? But she accepts it. However, I remember the first time she showed any sort of disgust for her firstborn son and his... Cr as a mom, when you son like... I don't know. I feel like as a parent, you should be accepting, but sometimes it's like a generational age gap, man. Like, how does like an older person in their like 50s, 60s, like kind of like, who's, who doesn't even understand what a fucking anime is, right? They see their sick child like with a bunch of these like anime girl figurines emerge. I, I, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like a good mother will be supportive. You know what? She will become a Kurumi stand together. Creepy little fictional girl character addiction. I want him to wear this. Is, there's gotta be a clip out there where he wears this, right? Yes. Yes, it hurt, man. So she was in my studio like one day and uh -huh. uh, she saw that I had one of those Opie mouse mats of Kurumi. <laughs> he didn't even show us <laughs> the fucking titty mouse pad. But you know he has it. He's confirming it right now. So the mom saw it. Me? Oh. Mate, the look she gave me, like, the shame, what? the shame I've brought- I mean, okay, these mouse pads are different, right? Cause like, these booby mouse pads, like, they straight up, like, I don't know if you, it's not a flat. The, the titties are like, supposed to act as support for your wrist, so you can plop it over, and it can hunch over like that comfortably, right? So, the, t the titties are, you, you can- you can grab them titties. Brought on our household. So why am I talking about this now? Well, it, it's actually yeah, my birthday as of oh. the release of today's video. Happy I birthday! This would be the right time to air my dark ways to the world. The time to tell you just how much this girl has consumed me and to open up on the, the hows, the whens, the whys, and the damage that has followed. So before we continue, if you would be so kind as to leave a like on today's I already did. video. I already One, did. for me being a brave boy in opening up on this subject, and two, as a birthday present for your boy. Thank you if you do. So, Kurumi Tokasaki, a girl in which I... Look at the subtitles again. Look at the subtitles again. And look at this. Hmm. Hmm. Rather... Is he truly a fan? Proud of the fact that I am so well associated with. I know a lot of people know me through her, or her through me, or people who don't even know who I am know me as... Oh. I feel like... She's making this comparison as people only know him for Kudumi, but that's like data live in a nutshell, right? Because I hear that like Kudumi is much more recognizable and like people know Kudumi more than data live itself, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. A girl in the show is more popular than the show itself. Oh, that's the guy that likes that Kurumi chick a little too well. Now, I'm sure a lot of you already know about Kurumi Tokasaki, like mm. who she is and whatnot, and I, I don't think you'd be watching- This time the subtitle says Kurumi Tokasaki. We're changing the names more and more. Watch this video otherwise, but if you don't know her well, then here's a quick rundown. Kurumi Tokasaki is from the series Data Live, mm -hmm. a harem series that focuses on spirits and sealing their powers through the act of smooching. Of how the fuck does that work though? No, there's got there's an actual mechanic on why this kiss is important. No, it's not just random fan service. Even though it kind of is, there is a reason, but we just don't know yet. Of course, that's the kind of trash I'm into, and I still consider this series in my top three of all time, and I'm not even ashamed about it. So back yeah, off. It's pretty fucking good. <laughs> anyway, Kurumi is a very special character, as she is the one who is feared by all of the others. You know, she's more of an antagonist, really, and she has a lot of myths antagonists in season one absolutely season and, and later on i think she becomes more of like an ally right she's in this like gray area can we really trust her can we really not i mean we know that we can but it's kind of dangerous at times history surrounding her but in my opinion has the most depth to her character and whatnot mm. so she is used depth to her character was she fully developed well in the anime i think season four when we went through the whole kurumi arc yeah yeah and i mean we even got data bullet which was rushed but still I think there's a lot of 
plot development and character development into Kurumi compared to a lot of the other girls. Origami! I think got a decent... I mean, Origami was like three seasons leading up to her arc. But I think, I, I think for the most part, yeah, these girls do get a lot of good development. At least the season one girls. The so season one girls as in like, you know, like Toka, Kotori, Origami, Kurumi. Like the OGs, right? And then they kind of continue over. But then you have other characters that show up later, like the Yuzuru twins or... Sorry, not the Yuzuru twins. The Yamai, Yamai twins, like Kaguya, Yuzuru... And, and, and I guess Yoshino is technically a season one girl too, but all these different girls like um, Miku, for example, like all the other girls that come after, less, less, less screen time, less more of like development on those characters, right? But still, the OG girls, they definitely get more interest. Very sparingly throughout the beginning of the series, but when her moments came, brief as they were. One more time. But when her moments came, came? brief as they were, but. When those moments came, as brief as they were, this guy's know what he's doing. Longer than it took me to. Okay, if you, I mean, if you're just gonna straight up just fucking me, what was the point of me even fucking doing that? If you're just gonna fucking straight up, okay, whatever. They were always. It's kind of true man. though, because Kurumi only shows up in like episode seven of. Well, other than season four, right? Like, I swear to God, it's like seasons one, two, three. Kurumi only shows up at like the seventh episode and then like and then like and then just like disappears again, right? He just shows up and then helps us and leaves. I really like them, obviously. So mm. how did it all come to be? You know, when was that fate? This is the other Kurumi, the five years ago Kurumi design. I think this one definitely I, I don't know. I, I really like this one too. The iPad Kurumi. There's this one, there's the bank Kurumi, and there's the regular twin tail Kurumi. I think I like this one a lot. I like the flower designs here too. The gothic Lolita look here is much more refined. ...moment when she first entered my life. Well, let's look into my Kurumi Tokusaki origins. Okay. So I believe it was around 2017. You know, I had started this channel here called 414 Anime, and I was making fact videos on characters that I really oh. liked. At this time, I was starting to explore more anime series that were beyond that of the normal, like most popular shows that sure. everyone has seen. Like I had also just learned of the term waifu, and a lot of people had... It takes a lot of balls to do this in public. And this is Japan. This is like a famous picture, man. This is like straight up in Japan. Like, I don't even know what the Japanese would think of like Westerners or like foreigners, man, when they show up with shit like this. Would they think that anime is a mistake? I don't know, man. God damn. <laughs> but it takes a lot of balls to do this. A main waifu, like a best girl. And I, I didn't have one at this time. Yes, I had weird feelings for some of the girls I'd oh, seen that's in all the shows. But I Fate. didn't have that one true alive. ultimate best girl. So I, I went on the search for her. I Did you go to Japan? No, no. He's about to watch Data Live, right? He's, did he straight up Google waifu on Google Images and found like a Toki, like Kurumi? And he's like, what if this is anime? And then he just basically found Data Live like that? He was cruising around on Google looking no for shot. anime girls. No that shot. That's basically how I would find anime series I wanted to watch by... <laughs> this is one of the most Giga Chat ways of finding anime if you want to watch. Just straight up. Anime girls on Google Images. <laughs> scroll, scroll. Oh, I like this girl the most. Let's see what anime she's from. Okay, let's just watch that ad. That is insane. That is fucking insane. This guy is crazy. Looking for attractive wife. Respect, though. Uh, no Respect. Shame, I still actually do this now when I'm looking through what I want to watch each season. Well, yeah. A well, the Annie chart, it's a little bit different, right? We see the promotional picture. We see the synopsis. We see, you know, what might be, you know, popular and whatnot. But this thing was straight up on Google Images, bro. Who, oh who has a good looking girl? You have a good looking girl? Alright, let's watch you. Mizu! Mizuzu! Don't judge me, people. Don't judge me. So okay, actually, you know what? I, 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 I've absolved him of any, 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 any of that. He, he, he saw Mizuzu and thought this is good. Give me top tier wife. Right, top tier let's wife. watch you. Don't judge me, people. Don't judge me. So through my shame-filled actions, I was surfing the endless pictures of anime girls before I stumbled across one. This Kurumi. was a moment of complete pure boy me. Goated. Goated Master Sergeant putting on the dog leash for season one OVA. It's the love of his life for the first time, you know? Like, my eyes dilated, my heart began to pump faster than it ever had, like, my palms were sweaty, and I felt feeling... Even his anime reaction choices here that he uses, he keeps using, like, uh, Tomo-chan as a girl and uh, Kaguya-sama in Love is War. And he likes Kurumi. Like, his tastes are pretty, like, supreme. I had never felt before. All of this as I stared longingly at this anime girl who was the most perfectly drawn woman I had ever seen in my entire life. Show me the picture. That image being this one here, in fact. And 
my god, it's beautiful. You know, the yeah. dress. Perfect booba thigh ratio. Her seducing Perfect booba thigh ratio. There's an optimal ratio, huh? Smile her eyes. My god, the She does have a ma like maniac smile though. Look at those eyes though, huh? She looks dangerous, right? If you see her eyes, you see that like crazy smile. She you see the guns that she has too. Eyes. Is that a clock in her eye? That's it amazing. Is. That's so different. So unique. Who are you? It, it actually is unique though. Her powers are unique. You what is your name? The image, of course, did not have her name. So I was searching anime girl with the clock eye. And of course, quickly <laughs> found the name <laughs> of my new it. queen. Kurumi took us <laughs> This Obviously guy is found insane. Out she was from a series called Date Alive, and I instantly stopped yeah. what I was doing to go and watch this show. My heart longed for more of this woman. You know this guy as well, because Kurumi doesn't show up until season like episode seven of season one. So you know this guy was like, please, when is Kurumi finally gonna show up? Please, I've been watching for so long. No. In fact, that's how I felt in season one because you guys are hyping the shit out of Kurumi in my community posts and stuff like that. It's like, bro, you just gotta watch this shit for Kurumi. And it's like, I don't even know what the fuck a Kurumi is yet. Who was she? What was she all about? I needed more. It was important that I found out who she was. Like, I was supposed to be making videos. For nice timing with this comment. The absolute territory, yes. In fact, the absolute territory is defined by this area, which is actually popularized by... Tosaka Rin from Fate series, right? This this is the absolute territory. The the gap of flesh that is shown at the top of the thigh high and right beneath the skirts. The absolute territory. For that week, but I dropped that to go watch Data Live and chase down the girl. He dropped Fate for Data Live! <laughs> Based. Who had just taken my breath away. Interestingly, I didn't know that she didn't appear until episode seven. So when I was yeah. first watching the show, yeah. I actually almost fell for Toka as my best girl. But I did too. In fact, I was enjoying the initial episodes a lot. You know, the whole dynamic of this mysterious girl known as Toka. I mean, back then we didn't know how they, like, if she was like a, I'm not going to say she's a dumb dog, but she's kind of like Delta in a way, you know, very pure, innocent, happy-go-lucky. But when you first meet Toka, there's this mysterious aura around her. And you're like, what is she about? Like, I, I don't know why does she look so sad. I want to save her. That kind of like the season one in the intro, season one, honestly, of Data Live, I think it's so fucking good. I think it really is. I think my favorite arc is, you know, Kurumi versus Kotori at the rooftop. I think that still to this date of all of Data Live, that might be my favorite moments of this anime series. But then, yes, she appeared, and there, 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 there it yeah, was. That the one moment. Cue the jazz theme. Found her. Play the jazz. I found the girl who I will dedicate life and soul to. This girl is the one. From this moment forth, Kurumi Tokasaki mm. became my number one undisputed waifu. She straight up showed up in episode one, sorry, episode seven, and just put her legs up Origami's crotch. Like, the amount of things that she was doing right away. And she didn't, she even offered to see, hey, Shiro, you want to see my panties? She got the top of the stairs, right? She was pulling some Giga Chat moves right off the bat. So yeah, that's how it all started. And it was based on looks at first, but then I quickly began to fall for the personality. What's inside, right? What's what's deep inside? What's Kunumi's personality? Tell me. I blasted the then two seasons of Data Live okay. in the sub and the dub so I could get every bit of Kurumi that I could. That's actually insane. That is so much like dedication, the sub and the dub, just to get all of Kunumi experiences. Could that I went on the research front. I researched the hell out of her character so that I could begin flaunting her around as my best girl. So what- I wonder if he gave a presentation to his mom, right? His, like, his family's just sitting here and he's just going on like a rant of like, why this girl is the best girl? Her around as my best girl. And then she's like, oh yeah, that's the girl of the booby mouse pad you have in your room. So why Kurumi? Well, she was just- this time it's curry me, <laughs> okay? It's this character that I became instantly addicted to. And I don't really know why, but she was not only the hottest anime girl I had ever laid eyes on, but her entire character just fascinated me so damn much. I think it's the fact that she's different from all the other spirits. When she shows up, she has her own different goals. And it's like, I don't know if she's like an enemy or a friend. And like, we couldn't even kiss her and seal a date in the beginning either. It's like, I don't know this girl. She's so dangerous. I don't really know about her. She's so mysterious, right? And stuff like that makes me get more interested in the character. And, her, and then her powers are also so fucking insane, too. And it's like, even on the rooftop, it's like, we know that she's probably not like a villain. But right now, she's being an antagonist. And things are very spicy. Whenever Kurumi shows up, I feel like the scene, the atmosphere, the overall tone of the show changes. Like, some characters have that effect in shows. Maybe like even like Frieza from Dragon Ball, you know, or even Fareed from High School DxD. When certain characters arrive, the entire room is just like 
captivated by their presence. And I think Kurumi is one of those characters. The jazz theme also helps a lot. Oh my God, cue the fucking saxophones whenever she comes in. And I totally get a lot of the, but she kills people, man. She's really- Bad people. Those those people were torturing the cat. They deserve to die. Creepy like that. And like, while yes, the aspect of her is there, there is also so much more behind yes. that side of her. Many a, different a, sides a of her. darker truth, if you will. And whole, this whole arc in season four about her realizing what she's actually done, that whole backstory of Kudumi, it actually, it, cause like, you th you ask yourself, how did a girl like this turn into the the cold, ruthless girl that is Kudumi now, right? She used to be such a softy. I don't know, maybe I'm just extremely biased and I will always defend what my heart wants, but when And I think there is also that interplay, bias. I think there's a huge bias for people that watch Data Live and this like Kudumi Sims. I think it's just been repeated so much that Kudumi's best girl, Kudumi's best girl, best girl, to the point where everyone just blindly admits that she's best girl. I'm not saying that she's not, but I think a lot of people will always favor Kudumi because of the popular narrative that she is the best girl no matter what. When I read into her character and found out about the true her, my feelings for her just exploded. That being, sure, your of feelings. course, another video your I feelings, would like sure. to do on her at some point. So yes, that will come in due course. Come, so yeah, uh -huh. maybe went a little bit personal there, and I guess it's very much, yeah, this guy likes this character a little too much, but how has she destroyed his life? Well, money yeah, financially. Let's get into that one. So my relationship with Kurumi Tokasaki is very much like that of Stockholm Syndrome, really, in which I became quickly addicted to this character and in a really, really bad way. The most obvious example of this in the physical sense is, of course, the amount of money I have spent. How much on money this was his world. astral dress? Yeah, Kurumi Tokasaki merchandise. Oh my god! Wow, we're okay. You know there's some NSFW Kurumi stuff that he can't show here, man. You know that he has that fucking Kurumi on a hole. Do I even start with this one, man? Like, if there is an item with Kurumi on it, then mm. I most very likely own it. Kurumi sucks, too. Videos bunny Girl Kurumi? Oh my god. How much is that Bunny Girl Kurumi figurine, bro? The figures and merchandise I have of her, but I have gone to extremes in most senses. Wear this astral dress right now. Do it, coward. This ranges from owning items I will never use, but own it because it has Kurumi on it. Off the top of my head, I can think- The booby mouth that look. Look at the 3D volume on this guy. Look, look, look. <laughs> you just put your fucking- I don't need to explain this shit to you guys. You guys aren't normies. You fucking you probably have these booby mouth pads. Of like phone cases for phones I have never owned, glasses and mugs that I will never use. I even have a fork, man. A Kurumi fork? A fork that has Kurumi on it. <laughs> then there's clothes. You know, if I wanted to, I could wear a complete outfit that is entirely Kurumi Tokasaki themed. And yeah, I'm I'm talking pants. Kurumi too. boxers too, like, yeah. I have items for near enough any situation that have Kurumi Tokasaki. What the fuck? What, what? on them? The hair was covering the nipples. So the world knows who my best girl is. Chinese dress I'm too? Umbrellas, man. Bags, coffee flasks. Heck, even my wallet has Kurumi on it, which is very ironic. I bet the Data Live series is like, if you compare the amount of merchandise of Kurumi sold alone, just of Kurumi merch, versus like how much the anime has sold in Blu ray DVD stuff, I'm willing to bet the merch has sold much more significantly than the anime has made profit. Just you know, based off there's, Kurumi, there's just Kurumi merch. That's where all my money goes. The other extremes are the lengths of owning items. Like, for most people, a body pillow of your waifu is very much pushing the boat out there. Like, I mean, you're pretty much just... I, I, I mean, what, how are people gonna think when they walk into your room and they see a life-size body pillow with an anime girl on it? Right? What, what are they gonna think? Oh, this is the... This is perfectly normal behavior of a grown man. No, they're not gonna think that, but it's okay. You don't need their judgment, man. It doesn't matter because we have Kurumi, okay? Like, that's like, well, okay, that's an extreme I can't go to. This guy, this guy, 4 and 4 anime over here, not only mm. does he have two multiple, of her, two. But he also went next level by and buying her dress and dress. a mannequin to display said dress on. I thought he was gonna wear the dress. Um, actually, like thinking about that, I'm really proud of that. That's that's like so sick. Where's the head? He, he, like, he, he, is he? What if he gets like a real life like Kurumi like figurine, like an actual like a head figure there too? I love looking at that. Don't care. Uh -huh. Don't care. So damn sure. merchandise galore, man. Wall scrolls, plushes, figures. Like at the time of this video's making, I currently own 42 figures of Kurumi. How much is that? How much is the average like Kurumi figurine? It's got to be more than a hundred, right? Like, maybe like 300? Maybe? 
I don't know. No. Even if the average figurine is a hundred, that's already forty. That's like over four thousand dollars immediately. Some of which are just different color variations of the same. They're just different color schemes too. This guy's a loyalist. Same figure. And now, off the top of my head, I think I've got another five to six more of her. I like. I was going to say, I like the five years ago design in the lot, but oh, what, is, what is this one? ...ordered, including a 1.25 scale of her that costs over $1,000. $1,000 for this, dude. $1,000 fucking dollars for those. Oh my fucking God, dude. Dollars. So yeah, in a sense, I have a very... You think that could be up to 80000 just for figurines? That's crazy. Holy fuck. Serious issue, but I just I just love my waifu so much, man. Yeah, I can tell. Even my soon-to-be actual... Wait, that's a... What do you mean from Bleach? Where, wait, wait, wait. Put, put Kurumi on this. Wife, wife buys me Kurumi stuff as well. She's a babe, by the way. Like, we were in Tokyo and we saw this Tumblr. I I guess in his, like, channel, like, he represents his wife as, like, actually, like, Orihime. So she buys him Kurumi merch too? Of Yoshino? So she Aww. thought that, like, oh, if that exists then one of Kurumi will too. Unfortunately, we couldn't find one out there. So when we got home, she searched to the ends of the earth to track down one. What a supportive a wife! Actually exists, and then two, if she could purchase one. And I'm you know, most girls I feel like would be like, "Why do you look at that anime girl more than me?" You know, you gotta throw out all your Kurumi figurines, where I'm breaking up with you. But this girl's like, "Nah, I got you. Let me let me find you the Kurumi booby mouse pad." I'm telling you now, boys, she pulled through. Wife material right there. Truly. Wife material right there. Now, while we're on the topic of merch, if you are interested in my collection, I did make a video a few years ago. I will ago watch that $10,000 Kurumi collection. Okay, we gotta watch that. Over that. And oh don't worry, God. I shall update it this year. And, like, oh. I have added so Updated version. There's gonna be like a forty thousand dollar Kurumi collection, dude. Oh my god, dude, we gotta watch that. To it in that time, and I've got some really good stuff coming. Fun story oh on that god. as well is that that video actually ended up in a Reddit thread, like <laughs> as somebody had made a meme. It could have been data live sub Reddit. Ten thousand dollar the god himself. He is a man of focus, commitment, and sheer fucking well. I agree. Now, the thumbnail and whatnot, and like the, the, it was just like there was loads. Of <laughs> this is four one four anime, right? Damn, that's some fucking commitment. I can't go that far for one specific character, but I almost did with Noir from Neptunia. Neptunia. After a while, I realized that I was missing on other characters and stopped only the yeah, yeah. Like, uh, but like, god damn, that's fucking insane, People dude. They're questioning my mental health. How the fuck do people get this invested to a fictional character? That's insane in a bad way. Well, to a normal person spending this kind of money, of course, but he's a content creator. You know, he's got 153K stuff. I'm sure his channel is pretty successful. I'm sure the videos that he made on the $10,000 video, he's probably made like a couple thousand off of that. Like, I, like this is kind of like reinvesting into your business in a sense. Obviously, you're not going to be making profits like immediately, but you're also not like spending money raw no this is like his content creation money and he's kind of like reinvesting it into business not necessarily for the sake of making more content on the topic but just it's just a fun hobby right he just wants to collect and shit but he can also make content out of it so it's like it's, it's not that bad right because he is making content and i won't lie i'm kind of really proud of that you know like that was one like true moment that i felt like i truly made it on this the one moment that he felt validated was flexing on all these fucking kids on the Data Live subreddit. <laughs> no, I want a Kurumi figurine too! The platform, like, yes, I'm famous now. So, yeah, yeah. so the combination of a. Just people knowing that the guy obsessed with Kurumi is a kind of branding. That's the thing, too, right? Like, it, 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 this is a brand. It's an identity to him, right? So people know him as the Kurumi guy. So if he makes content on Kurumi, then suddenly, you know, it's like shit. It, 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 again, it, it's all. There is a purpose to this. It's not just like random money being thrown into the fire. Addiction through physical object, the love for her character herself, and having my life not only personally, but through my career here on YouTube focused on this one girl. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that I do pretty have insane. quite an unhealthy obsession with Kurumi Tokasaki. But I know that I do. And I think that it would be a lot worse if I was completely unaware of that fact, right? Actually he is aware. He's aware. You think it's a form of addiction? I think it's passion. I think it's passion. Actually, I'm very proud of my admiration for Kurumi Tokasaki. Like, I feel like she is almost the poster girl for me here at Full. Just waiting for one day to release a video of I divorced my wife and now I'm marrying Kurumi. I can you imagine if a video like that happened, bro? One for anime. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. I love being associated with it. I, I just wanted a waifu of my own, you know? A best girl who I could.
Is she a waifu of your own though? Because I feel like she's everyone's waifu. I think this is our waifu. I think the more popular a waifu is, you know, she's shared by everybody. I'd proudly say it was my personal favorite. And I gotta say, it, it, it's grown into this really cool thing or, you know, totally unhealthy thing. But I'll leave that up for you to debate. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this I did. video, let's I say. I enjoyed Don't it. Don't forget to smash that like button, and if you do... Yo, I didn't realize this This guy's channel is great. Give him a like, give him a sub if you enjoyed it. I just stopped immediately as soon as I saw the fucking Kurumi body pillow, but goddamn. I, I think Kurumi is great. Who is my favorite day to life girl? <sighs> Maybe one day we'll make a tier list of it, but I think in the top tier, Toka, Origami, Kurumi, in no specific order, I think those three are definitely my favorite girls of this show, just because they're like the OG three from the beginning. Kotori Yoshino. Head pads only. But this guy's channel is great. I'm wanting to watch more data lab content from it if you guys enjoy this. But hey, we do these reactions live on YouTube, 7 a.m. PST on Twitch and YouTube. Hope to see you guys there.